Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix crashing for Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Uh, it's unfortunate that this amazing game has some crashes, uh, but it is what it is. There are a couple of methods to fix it, so try not to skip any steps. The first thing you want to do is roll back NVIDIA drivers uh, to driver version 566.36 or earlier. Uh, for some reason, the newest drivers uh, seem to be crashing it. Uh, especially if you're on an RTX 3080. So make sure that you roll it back. It's causing some VRAM leaks. The next thing you want to do is run the game as administrator. So you find this game in your library, you right click on it, you hit properties. And from here on the left hand side, you see installed files, you click on this and you uh, see uh, the browse button on the right hand side, you click on this. And from here you go to bin, win64 master, master steam pgo, and you're gonna see kingdomcome.exe right here. You want to right click on this, you want to hit properties, and you want to see, uh, hit the compatibility tab right here. And from here, uh, you want to click this little thing that says run this program as administrator. Uh, this and hit apply and hit okay. And uh, launch the game as normal and this should fix the game. One issue a lot of people are having are uh, C++ redistributables uh, basically being too old or corrupt. So how do you fix it? I'll put a link in the video description below, but you can uh, install these manually. Whoops. Uh, you want to download uh, this uh, x64 and dot 86, uh, depending on your version of Windows. Uh, install both of them and uh, it'll go through an installation process. Basically, if it's already installed, it'll just ask you to update your current installation. Again, I'll put this link on the video description below, uh, but this will fix uh, the uh, Bink W64.ELL error that many people are having. The next method is to go back into Steam, find the game in your library, right click on the game, uh, go to properties, and from here, go to installed files. And from here, verify integrity of game files. Uh, this actually does help a lot of people uh, for whatever reason. Um, and basically what it does is it looks through the uh, files to find any corrupt files and it replaces them with non-corrupt files. It is very useful. The next thing you want to do is turn off Windows security. Windows uh, Firewall, so go to Windows Security. You're gonna see something called Virus and Threat Protection here. Click on this. Scroll down, you're gonna see Virus and Threat Protection Settings. Click on Manage Settings and turn off Real-Time Protection. And then after you have done that, go back to this page, look at Firewall and Network Protection. Click on this. Under Public Network, it says Active. Click on this and you want to disable Microsoft Defender Firewall. Again, I uh, recommend to disable this uh, temporarily um, or if it does work for you, uh, you can allow uh, this app through uh, the firewall. I'm not going to show you how to do that, but it's not very hard to do. Uh, but when you have finished with the game, I recommend you turning both back on. The next thing you want to do is make sure your, uh, your Windows and, and therefore your DirectX is updated. So type in settings and on the left hand side, uh, click on Windows Update and from here you want to check updates and install any Windows update. You wouldn't think that an outdated Windows uh, would be crashing this game, but uh, outdated Windows meaning uh, outdated DirectX and DirectX runtime is outdated. This game does not run very well. Okay, the next, the next thing of course is to make sure that the game is up to date. And of course, uh, make sure that this game is on an SSD if possible. Um, if you don't have an SSD, then you can't really help it, but ideally run this game on an SSD for best performance. And next thing we want to try is to uh, verify a couple of files within Windows. So go to type in CMD for command prompt here. Click run as administrator. 
when this black cool little box comes up, type in SFC space slash scan, now all one word. What this will do, this will scan your entire file system, including uh, DirectX, including everything like that for any kind of corrupt files, and it will automatically replace them. This takes a couple of minutes to do, and after it is done, uh, reboot your PC and launch the game once again. But this will almost certainly fix any issues that you have. If this video helped you, leave the video a like and please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a nice day.